everybody. What's up, YouTube? What's up, K-pop family? It's your boy Ty, giving you the best and being the best at this K-pop earth. And yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. This is one of them Saturdays where you we give you the good little weekly roundup of what's been going on in K-pop, and I feel like I got some good tea for you, merches right now. Okay, our first story: Audio file a boys twenty four member, Hwa Young, trash talking fans. Yo, okay. Let me let me say this first. Let me say this first. I already heard this audio clip. It's all over YouTube. It's all over Twitter. I already heard. Uh, I already read some of uh, CJ E and M statement about the situation. But I well, I want to go in on this story because this story is crazy. But let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you what's going on first. So the Boys Twenty Four member Kyoan, he was caught. An uh, audio clip was leaked. Of him talking about fans, basically, from what I read from, like, because when I watched the, uh, when I heard the audio clip, they was translating it in English. So, basically, what I heard, he was like, I love when people call me Opa, but I don't like when the fans call me Opa. Uh, it's effing disgusting or whatever like that. I don't effing like it. And he's basically saying the hot touch thing with, uh, fan, uh, fan signings. With about 700, 800 people makes them sick and makes them prove because people breath sing. Which, I'm on you with that because some people have been talking directly in my damn face and I've been like, you need to back the hell up. <laughs> so he said all of that and then CJ email put out a statement saying, we're, talk we're in talks. Uh, we know the situation is crazy right now. Uh, please still support Boys 24, basically. We're talking to the member that's accused of this, and we're trying to find out how this uh, audio clip got leaked and stuff. We're Basically, they're saying we about to get uh, to the do um, bottom of this stuff, and we about to find the hell out what's going on, basically, basically. Now, my opinion that I'm so a little bit, like, I'm really excited to talk about this, like, I, I don't even know why. But my opinion is, yo, let me say this. When you are around, okay, when you're an idol or whatever like that, and you're known, when you're around certain people, when you're around, like, even when you're uh, like in your house, when you're around people you don't know, when you this, that, and third, you got to make yourself look best for you and your company because... You don't know who the hell is recording you. You don't know who the hell is um, doing this, that, and the third around you. So you got to be careful about what you say, especially in a cutthroat business like this. Especially a cutthroat business like this. Like, who was it that I read about, um, that I found out about the other day? Uh, K and K Sung John. Love him. Love him to freaking death. But I found out he was at JYP uh, or and he was at Big Hit, then JYP, or vice versa, then uh, YNB. And I don't even know if there's other freaking uh, companies that he's been at. But that shows you how cutthroat this industry is. And if you just so happen by the graciousness of God, actually get yourself out there and, like, debut, whatever the hell you want to say, you're, like, known or whatever, you got to keep that front. Even if you don't like this, that, and a third, even if you got to keep that damn front so you can get your money and you can stay known. That was easy. In my past videos, it's easy for me to say, if I was over there, it would be so different. I would say this, that, and a third. But if I was, if I actually was serious about it and I trained over there and know the system and this, that, and third, Bitch, I be on hush mode like so damn quick. It's easy for me to say that because I'm American, I'm black, and everything like that. And I'm like, I, and I'm outspoken. But over there, I'll, if you, shit, that's why I don't. That's why I don't cuss out half these people when um, I'm dealing with them, like at the job situations, because I know I got to get my money, and you is not about to affect my money. Just, just about to be a fact. But I think this shit is crazy. On to this good little second story. Kim Hyun Jung finally returns from his military service and he was greeted over uh he was greeted by over fifteen hundred fans. Now, let me tell you this. I first found out about this dude because of that whole scandal situation about him allegedly beating his girlfriend or whatever like that. But I actually really like this dude and I'm glad he's completed his military service. So basically, this is just only uploaded 16 hours ago, but it's so freaking popping right now. But he he went into the military about May 2015. Now he's out. 
February of 2017. And so many fans have come up to um, congratulate him on his military service, probably to congratulate his, him on his other things, because if I'm not mistaken, I think he uh, won his court case against his ex-girlfriend, because uh, he wasn't beating her, or she, I don't, I, I, I did not follow the news story, I'm not sure, I don't, like, I think he won his court case, I did read that, but I'm not sure what else is going on, I haven't followed it, but a lot of people are so freaking excited that he's uh, out of military service, all of that scandal messes behind him now, I'm excited too, because I'm not even gonna front, I do enjoy his music, I enjoy, um, SS, uh, 501, I get them mixed up with 301 so freaking bad because they, so Double S 501, I love their freaking music, I love his solo stuff because like I said, first time I heard about him was the scandal thing, I just looked him up, found that he did some solo stuff and I was like, oh snap, okay, I like this music, this is nice, <laughs> even though all of his songs are a little bit older, but still, I like them. And I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore fan for him, but I am a good fan of his. And he, he deserves a second chance. Everybody deserves a second chance. But I'm excited he's out of the military service. I, it's so freaking cool that 1,500 of them bastards, more than 1,500 other bastards, came out to come see him. So I think that's dope. I think he... I think people are still ride or dies for him. And I think he made a statement just basically saying... Thank you for supporting me through, uh, during these last two years I've been in the military. Thank you for supporting me through every other endo um, endeavors I've been going through for the past uh, couple for the past couple of years. And he just was so grateful. Apparently, he um, wasn't getting teary, but he was getting like emotional a little bit with his fans. And I just think that's so freaking awesome because like you, you ain't if you if you were artist like that. You ain't nothing without your damn fans. Let me know and be honest. Your fans get you your money. Let's be honest. I'm just happy you're back. Congratulations. Welcome home. Welcome back. Or not home because you're not over here. But I mean, you want your money, bitch. But welcome back, Shin Jung. So, with our third and final story, the tea is being spilled. Netizens stir up dating rumors between BTS's G-Men and Red Velvet Sulgi. Now, before I even heard about this freaking thing, <laughs> oh, that's my guy so standing on. <laughs> before I even heard or even read this story, I did hear something about this on Amino, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw someone talking about it up on Amino. But, yes, netizens with they crazy ass. Didn't I get on y'all last time? Didn't I just get on y'all asses? Netizens is making it seem like Jimin and Sugi is dating one another because of, like, their interactions or whatever like that. Them looking at each other, them waving at each other. All these little hints and hints and hints. And I'm like, a bitch can't even wave at a friend without getting accused of dating him. Or vice versa, a dude can't even wave at a friend without a, a, being accused of dating the chick. What the hell? This is what I be telling you about um, these freaking netizens. These freaking netizens need to mind their damn business. Now, this is kind of like, this is not like really new. It's been like a, it's near about been a week that this, uh, actually this news article broke. But... I think it is crazy that all of these netizens is making these assumptions based off of some stuff that went on at the freaking at a freaking ceremony. Like if someone wave at you, it'd be rude as hell not to wave back. I mean, if you if you really know the person and you don't like their asses, of course F them. Like, yeah, hell yeah. But it will be rude for you not to wave back. So why wouldn't she wave back? They, um what ceremony was it? I forget, it doesn't seem to say in it in the article, but they read, they waved at each other, and they was smiling or whatever like that, and they was giggling or whatever like that. He stared at her, she stared at him, and I'm just like, who the hell gives a fuck? Who the hell gives a fuck? Like, come on now, netizens, come on. It's always y'all bastards doing some sh Come on now. It was just rumors. It's not a big issue. So, 
let, let it go. Let it go. Let it die. Well, that is it for our good little news corner today. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow our socials. And I will see you next time here on Night in Time. The best of the best. Huh. <laughs>